Hello everyone, this is Ahmed, your GHL boy. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to talk about two triggers of Go High Level workflows. So customer booked appointment versus appointment status. These are the two triggers that are commonly used in any kind of automation, specifically if you are using Go High Level scheduling system. So you are definitely gonna need any of these two triggers. Both of these triggers are actually related to the appointments. So a lot of the times, a lot of users got confused between these two triggers because both are related to the uh, appointment system. So in today's video, I will be actually explaining what is the difference between these two triggers and then what can be the use cases of using both of these two triggers. So let's get started. The Go High Level Boy, Ahmad. Ahmed at the GHL Boy. The GHL Boy, Ahmed. I'm Ahmad Rashid. Thank you, Ahmed, and thank you to the rest of your team. Okay, so here we are inside the Go High Level workflows, and then we go to add a trigger. And if you see in the appointments, we have two triggers. The one is appointment status, and the second one is customer booked appointment. So first of all, as it shows the name customer booked appointment, this trigger is only going to fire when a customer schedules the appointment. Now the question is how the system or go high level is going to know that the customer has scheduled the appointment. To understand this statement, you have to understand uh, how the appointments can be scheduled inside go high level so there are two primary ways to schedule the appointments inside go high level the one is when you schedule the appointment outside of the system that means you are not logged in inside the go high level and you are using a preview link of the calendar or a calendar which is embedded on uh, a landing page or website so that's number one way to schedule the appointment uh, within go high level that is when you are not logged in to the go high level and you are scheduling the appointment outside of the go high level the number two way is when you are scheduling the appointment within the go high level system so there are a couple of different options inside the go high level where you can schedule the appointments so for example you can just go to contacts open up a contact and then schedule the appointment from the top right bar or the other option can be you can go to calendars and then you go to appointments and you can also schedule the appointments from there but the main key point is when you are scheduling the appointment within the go high level system that means you are logged in into the go high level and then you are scheduling the appointment for your customer or on the behalf of your customer so i explained two different ways the one is when you are scheduling the appointment outside of go high level the other is when you are scheduling the appointment inside the go high level system so now when you actually schedule the appointment outside of go high level from that perspective, Go High Level understands that this appointment was scheduled by the customer, which means the customer booked appointment. So it doesn't matter, for example, if you go to your own website and open up your calendar on your website and then type in the info of your client and then schedule the appointment. But for Go High Level, that is the appointment which is being scheduled by customer. So when you schedule the appointment outside of Go High Level, that is customer booked appointment. So from that key point, Go High Level will know that this appointment was scheduled by the customer. So this trigger will only get fired when an appointment was actually scheduled using the preview link of the calendar or an embedded calendar, maybe on your website or landing page. So that is when this uh, trigger gets fired. On the other hand, if you see this one, which is appointment status, this trigger will get fired whenever a status of an appointment gets changed. For example, when an appointment status gets changed to booked or confirmed or canceled or no-show. So when you actually change the appointment status and you can only do that within the Go High Level system, you cannot uh, change the appointment status outside of Go High Level. So appointment status, this will work whenever you change the status of any appointment and you can only do that within the Go High level system. So this is the primary and key difference between these two triggers. The customer booked appointment, this is only gonna fire when you schedule the appointment or when your client schedule the appointment using your website or your calendar preview link. On the other hand, this appointment status, this will work regardless of wherever you are scheduling the appointment. This will actually work for both, either if you schedule the appointment within the Go High level, because when you schedule the appointment within the Go High level, you are actually changing the status of an appointment. Maybe you are changing a status from zero to 
confirmed so in that case this trigger will get fired or if you are or if your customer are scheduling the appointment from your website or any embedded calendar on their landing page or using the preview link of your calendar still when they schedule the appointment their appointment status gets updated to confirmed so this is going to work in that case as well so that's also an important key point which is the appointment status this trigger will work regardless of which method you are using to schedule the appointment so this will work if you schedule the appointment within the system or if you schedule the appointment using the calendar link or your website outside of go high level this appointment status is going to fire but this customer booked appointment this will only work when the customer will book the appointment that means when you or your clients will schedule the appointment using the preview link of your calendar or your website so this is uh, like the main key difference between these two triggers now let's actually go in and see what are the other technical differences between these two when we are going to configure the customer booked appointment trigger and when you go to filter you will see different filters in this trigger as compared to the filters that you will see under the appointment status and what are those those are when we go to filters here we see we can only select the calendar or we can select hashtag so when we go to in calendar here you would be able to select the calendar and then when you go to add filters here you can see the user that means if the calendar is assigned to a user and you want to specify that user so that means if the user uh, if the appointment is booked with this user specifically for example if i select this user now that means when a customer will schedule the appointment on the calendar and the appointment if that calendar has multiple users in it and in that case if the appointment is scheduled with ahmed jdf in that case only this trigger is going to fire and if we go to add more filters these are only the two filters regarding uh, the appointments in this trigger which is customer booked appointment but on the other hand when we go to appointment status trigger here you see the first of all this one event type normal uh, or recurring you can select this filter but when we click here to see more filters here you will see a more filters as compared to the customer booked appointment so the first one is appointment status this filter you don't see under the customer booked because it doesn't make sense to have that filter inside that trigger because when the customer is scheduling the appointments either it's going to be new or confirmed but here because uh, if you want to trigger different automations based on the appointment status change so that's why you will see the appointment status but if you do this which means appointment status is confirmed and now this trigger is going to fire if you schedule the appointment within the system or your customer schedules the appointment outside of this system because both cases in both cases the appointment status is going to be confirmed but if you wanna uh, uh, trigger uh, any automation when the appointment was no show then you will actually select this filter uh, as no show so this is very important when you are using appointment status and you want to trigger the automation only when the customer schedules the appointment then make sure you select this filter as well appointment status to confirm if you don't select this filter and you have just configured the trigger like this appointment status that's it now this trigger is going to fire or every status so when the customer schedules appointment this trigger will get fired because the status will be changed to confirmed or when you update the status of that appointment to no show again this trigger will get fired because now the status has been changed and you have not applied any filter to be more specific so just in case you want to create a workflow for the appointment reminders and confirmation just make sure that here you add this filter which is appointment status and then confirm now in this case this trigger will only get fired when a new appointments will get scheduled this trigger is not going to be fired when you start update the status to no show or maybe canceled if you want to uh, start any automation for the no show appointments then you will have to create a different workflow using the same trigger but inside the filter here you will select no show so that's another point and this is what is another difference the here you can select the appointment status because the name of this trigger is actually appointment status so you would be able to select any of the status from the appointments now if we see the next is here in calendar which is the same that you will see inside the customer booked appointment so you can select any calendar but if you don't select any calendar then this workflow is going to fire 
when an appointment will get scheduled on any of your calendar inside this sub account so if you want to create this automation for a specific calendar just make sure that you select that calendar here otherwise when you don't select any calendar then it's going to fire for all the calendars now the next is here created by or modified by and then here you will see the list of your users or then you can also specify because now you are uh, this appointment status is gonna trigger regardless of who has scheduled the appointment maybe you schedule this appointment within the system or your customer scheduled the appointment but if you want to filter out that based on who has scheduled the appointment then you can use this filter which is if you do this that means now when the customer will schedule the appointment which means when the appointment will be scheduled using preview link of your calendar or your website this trigger is not going to fire because here we have applied the filter that says only trigger this automation or trigger this workflow when it was created or modified by user user mean internal user and again how the go high level will know either user has modified or created uh, uh, the appointment or the customer when you will do that within the system that means the user is modifying when you do that outside of the system that means the customer is doing that so that's when you select the customer that means this will only get fired when you schedule the appointment outside of go high level this is not going to fire when you update the any appointment status within the go high level system then here is the api you you can also use the go high levels uh, appointments related apis to change the appointment status so if you just want to trigger that this is for that and then here is the workflow because inside the workflows we have different actions that using those actions you can also update the appointment statuses so the, you can filter out that as well now if we talk about the next which is user this is also the same that we see under the customer book so here you can select the user as well so this was about all uh, appointment status so that was everything that you need to know about these two triggers and i hope this is gonna explain you the difference between these two triggers so i will give you a quick uh, walkthrough again to summarize our today's video we discussed the two triggers the appointment status versus customer booked appointment the customer booked appointment is only going to fire when an appointment will get scheduled outside of the go high level system which is using the preview link of your calendar or using your website or embedded calendar outside of the system on the other hand the appointment status will get fired regardless of wherever the appointment was scheduled but mainly the appointment status is going to fire either you schedule the appointment within the go high level or you schedule the appointment outside of go high level and the other thing that we discussed in this today's video that was inside go high level there are two ways to schedule the appointment the one is outside of go high level system using your preview links the other is within the go high level system using the different features inside go high level for example you can go to contacts or you can go to appointments so I hope you will like this video and if you do and if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channels, please do subscribe and press the bell icon so that you can get all the new updates from me. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you. The Go High Level Boy, Ahmad. Ahmed at the GHL Boy. The GHL Boy, Ahmad. Ahmad Rashid. Thank you, Ahmed, and thank you to the rest of your team.